Let's have a look at question 12. Drawing in chemistry requires a little bit of patience and you also need to make sure that you don't forget any structure or any any single covalent bond. So whenever the question says structural formula, keep in mind that you have to show all bonds. Now in year 11, you are not required to remember all of the conditions for these re reactions yet. So just focus on making sure that all the structures are correct. And then in year 12, you're going to have to learn a little bit more. Well, a lot more actually. But anyway, so this is a substitution reaction of methane and chlorine gas. You need to be able to work out the structural formula for everything. Methane, one carbon, saturated. Well, it has to be. It's only one carbon. So CH4, this is a structural formula. Chlorine gas, you also need to recognize that chlorine exists like that. So the product of this substitution, now when you have a substitution reaction, you are replacing a carbon, sorry, you are replacing a hydrogen with a chlorine. So you substitute them, which means that this is one of the products that you can have. All right, I just realized that I substitute the, not the hydrogen that I was pointing at, but anyway. So this is one reaction and that's okay. In practice, if you just flip this, then this chloromethane is going to continue to be substituted until no more hydrogen is left. But because the question is not clear, I think this it, it, it is okay to just write the first one. Okay, But I'm just going to make a note here that you can have a mixture of haloalkane. Um, okay, get a mixture of hollow alkane that it's my lamp over time, and you could hear it. Let's move the lamp. All right, there you go. That's it. That'd be hydrogenation. It's a funny name. It's not a nation, hydrogen. Oh, well, that's one way you think about it. Hydrogenation is just, just mean reaction with H2, which is hydrogen gas. So don't freak out. Ethene is an alkene, two carbon, which means that the double bond has to be between these two. There's really no way else it can be. And then the rest is hydrogen. What people tend to forget to do is to show the covalent bond between the two hydrogen atoms in H2. But because the question asks for structural formulas, everything must be in structural formula. So don't forget that. Now the difference between this reaction and the one we just did before is that this is this is an, an addition reaction. And an addition reaction means that you only break one of the double bond in the alkene. And when you do that, if I just show you, if, if I break one of the double bond, so if I do this, then you actually create two opening, one on each carbon. So there are two extra atoms that this alkene can take now that the double bond is broken, which is perfect for the two hydrogen. So what happens is you have the molecule as it is originally. But now that you have broken the double bond here, and just for the sake of the argument, I'm going to use another color. If you break one of these, it's going to create an opening. So the hydrogen can be in here. You don't have to show this in your equation, of course. This is just for me to explain it to you. And then you can have this in here. So the product of hydrogenation of ethene is an ethane. So that's how you make an alkane from an alkene. But of course, these arrows are not necessarily, you can just write the product and that's okay. All right, we have another addition reaction. This time is between ethene and steam. Okay, I'm gonna change it back to black. So it's ethene again. I think it's ethene for all of these. It's a very good place to start. 
not sure why my pen start to burn on one side okay so that's that now steam is just a fancy name for water but at the same time this is another instance when people tend to forget to write the structural formula so if you just write h2o you, that's that's not that's not what the question is asking for so you have to be careful with things like that so the double bond once again will be um, broken now the question is actually quite nice this time it actually tells you that it is an addition reaction which means that you need to break the double bond and what will happen and i'm going to change it back to red again just to show you is because it creates two extra vacant spots for things to be in so that one of the the, the h2o is going to be broken one of the hydrogen it's going to go in here and the oh is going to go here now this is this is the the last um, pressure point, if you will, people tend to forget to write the OH at the end as a structural formula. So you want to be very careful with that as well. All right, one more addition reaction. Actually, I don't know how many is coming. I wrote these questions. I always sound surprised. I don't know why. All right, ethene. In my defense, I wrote these questions a few days, days ago, last week, something like that. I write a lot of questions, I don't know. Okay, we have another addition reaction. Just to show you. That's not great. But... Alright, um, I think I'm going to change that just because this is a question that asks for um, structure. You want the covalent, whoa, you want the covalent bond to be clearly in between the two atoms that it is supposed to link you really don't want um, it to be on the side or anything like that and it's really not good ha a good habit to have it like randomly flying in the middle of the page okay so we break the double bond and one of the hydrogen in the hydrogen chloride is going to go in there and the other one will go in here once again, you don't need to show the arrows. Just want to show you where they come from. And I just drew a random, random line there. Let's just erase it. Let's go back me. What is this? Can't take this long. To... All right, there you go. Addition polymerization. Now, this the question itself is not very clear as in what form. Uh, what it said structural formula obviously is. Um, I don't expect you to draw the entire polymer because, you know, you don't know for how, how long it's going to be. So um, a good idea is probably to do a section or you can do a little bit. I'm going to do a section. Okay. When you write an equation for polymerization, remember that the CC double bond is your backbone and everything else has to be made a branch. You don't necessarily have to start this way, but it makes it a lot easier to to draw the polymer later on because all you need to do after that is just to break the double bond. You need to put this here. This is to indicate that you have many monomers and not just one. You know, it's a number that is positive. All right, let's stop now. So what happened is... The double bond is broken. All the double bonds are broken. And this it's gonna link to another E thing that already has its double bond broken as well. Okay. Now once again, because the question is not clear, it's in what form of the polymer. I need so I'm just going to draw another one. So this is this is an example of a section of the polymer. If you want to show even more clearly that this is continuing, you can do this. It's probably a good idea to do that actually. Okay, I don't even know what this is or why it keeps doing that. Is it something that I do? Anyway, let's try again. Why does it keep disappearing? Okay, never mind. That's it, question 12.